Hello, my name is Nathan Dunn, Elite Application Engineer for Go Engineer. Today we will be exploring a brand new pattern type for SOLIDWORKS 2015, the variable pattern. With variable pattern, nothing can't be patterned. In this case, we're going to create this colander with a couple of very simplistic features and then the use of the variable pattern. First example we're going to look at is the ability to pattern this slot around the bottom, varying the size and the rotation angle of the slot as it moves around the perimeter of the colander. You are currently capable of creating this inside SOLIDWORKS 2014, but it would require a lot of input and manual manipulation of each instance. In SOLIDWORKS 2015, the new feature type, Variable Pattern, makes this process very easy. We're simply going to create an instance and then we'll choose the types of or the dimensions or features that we want to control as part of this process. Make some modifications. In this case, we want to have 18 degree rotations. We're going to offset the slot by an additional 15 millimeters and reduce the length of the slot by 15 millimeters. A nice preview will allow us to see what these modifications will look like in the finished design. That looks great. Let's add a few more to finish this part out. 18 new instances, and utilizing Excel-like behavior, we can simply copy to the end of our tree. We can utilize copy and paste in order to make these modifications. Finish populating our tree. Again, with the use of the preview, we'll be able to get a quick understanding of what this is going to do to our end features before we actually accept the command. That looks like exactly what I'm looking for. Simply accept this feature and see how the geometry looks. Not only is this feature extremely easy to create, but the modification tools are just as simplistic. If we select the inside of a slot, you'll see that we have familiar Instant 3D handles for each one of the instances. If I make a modification to this, we'll see that it will update only that instance. We also have the capability of individually controlling the suppression or the deletion state of each of the instances in this new pattern type. If I select this instance, instance 1, I can suppress it, and that will remove it from the visual side but allow me to turn that back on at some point in the future if it becomes part of a necessary part of my design. I can also actually just delete an instance. Deleting an instance will remove it from the instance count and maintain the integrity of the rest of my pattern. So there's one example. We can also utilize it to create these holes by just modifying the existing feature. You can see that there was an existing hole pattern that was created using a sketch-driven pattern. And then we have just created an additional modification that changes the size of the pitch circle the number of instances, and the rotation angle in order to complete our design. Variable pattern allows us to create complex geometry with just a few features in the tree. I think you're really going to like this command. Let's look at some other examples. In this case, we have a soccer cleat. Each one of these cleats varies in size, rotation angle, and position on the sole of our shoe. Not to fear, all of these can be controlled through the variable pattern. You can see that in this case we are also utilizing a position point on a 3D sketch and a plane normal to a curved surface to generate this geometry. 
This allows us a lot of flexibility in the control of where each one of the cleats ends up. But we can also individually select any one of these and make a modification, getting an instant update of how that's going to affect our design with lots of flexibility. One more example of variable pattern. The sole of this shoe was created with variable pattern changing the size, shape, and depth of cut of a spline going along our shoe sole. As you can see, variable pattern is an extremely powerful tool that's certainly going to enhance complex part modeling. Thank you for watching this video on SOLIDWORKS 2015's new feature type, Variable Pattern.